The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the custom post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him while he was at a table in his house. Many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. What is important to notice today in the Gospel is these two uh, movements from the heart of Jesus. First, he loves Matthew, and second, he calls Matthew. That's the movement or that's the inspiration from the Sacred Heart of Jesus, just to look at the person in love and in that love, calling us to his most sacred heart. And then the amazing experience of Matthew, his answer is yes. And he's ready to follow the Lord because he feels this love. He is aware of this love of Jesus, that in the gospel is just suddenly he got up and followed the Lord. And when Jesus is telling us, follow me, he is telling us, imitate me. So the task and the mission and little activity for us today is to look for one way, two or three little ways, how we can better imitate Jesus today in his cross, in his sacrifice, in his love, in reaching out to others and preaching who the Father is or consoling just being there present for the people we love and the people we know. How are or how are we going to work today? Little, little ways to imitate Jesus in his full heart, right? Full of joy, full of love, full of mercy for us. And let us constantly hear the voice of the master today. Follow me, imitate me. And may Jesus be with us today in his Holy Spirit to do well in this our task and mission. So somebody, after all these years of our lives, may say one day, he or she got up and followed the Lord. Amen.